State's defense that you feel comfortable about? Yeah, obviously, you game. know, obviously they got a, a new defensive coordinator with uh, Manny Diaz. So um, obviously having to study uh, both what he's done and what Penn State has done uh, makes it a little bit more complex when you're when you're going into game one. You don't know exactly how they're going to fit all of those pieces together. So it's it's a process of, of trying to figure out exactly what we think they will do, what they've shown in the past, um, and try to piece it all together. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of adjustments once the game starts. Are you happy with where Aiden's at here, stepping into game one? Absolutely. I think Aiden's had a, a really good uh, off season, a really good camp. Um, he's he's playing at a high level, and, and I look forward to, to seeing him play it out this year. Do you remember him playing at Penn State a few years ago in his first game? And oh, yeah, he did, he did get in. Yeah, he did get in. How that all um, came about? I do remember how it came about. We weren't playing. Uh, we weren't playing the best, so we were getting we were getting smoked. Uh, but he got in there, and uh, I think he had a. I think he completed his yeah. first pass uh, right. versus them. So that's a pretty big time atmosphere <laughs> to get your first action in, no doubt. Right. In, in that game, I mean, and they, they have different personnel now, but just the pressure that they put on you guys. I think they sacked Jack ten times uh, in that game. Is that? Still a concern with them a little bit with just the pressure that they put up. You know, the they line. they they obviously got a lot of talent. I think uh, they recruit at a high level. They got a high caliber of player. Um, so uh, anytime you go in in versus Penn State, you know that you're going to be playing some some uh, high level athletes. Uh, so I'm, you know, Coach Diaz has a history of bringing pressure, um, and, and with the, the type of players they have, he's going to have a good chance to be able to do that versus a lot of opponents. So uh, yeah, we got to be ready for pressure. You, you always want to win your opener, obviously, but. Just, Brian, just speak to the magnitude of this one. It's a, it's a Big Ten game yep. against one of college football's kind of glory programs. Mm -hmm. Got them at home, national TV, coming off a 9 win season. I mean, just yeah, you know, all, a, that, all that wrapped together, what it would mean? Yeah, we, we always want to take it one game at a time. But, yes, this is a this is a big uh, a big first game. I, I think if uh, things go, go the right way uh, on our side, I think it's a lot of momentum uh, building up uh, throughout the season. So, um, I think you would you would see a lot of excitement and a lot of uh, people excited to see the, the rest of the year. Either way, but I think if you can come out with, with the victory, that first one, as you said, versus a high caliber opponent, um, that can uh, start the momentum in the right way. You, you, you like playing on Thursdays? I don't mind it. Uh, when, I was, when I was in college, I played a lot of, a lot of times on Thursdays. We were on Thursday night all the time. So uh, I don't mind it, um, especially when you have first game of the season. It makes it much better. Uh, when you have to come after a Saturday, it's a little more difficult. <laughs> Just how, how have the receivers looked the last couple weeks? They've done good. I think we got a, a lot of uh, a lot of options at receiver. Uh, a lot of guys that have, uh, you know, they've, they've begun to pick it up. They're starting to get their rhythm uh, with Aiden, with the offense. And it'll be fun to see who, uh, when the lights come on, who's going to really show out. How do you feel like they've, uh, I guess, kind of handled the challenge of, just kind of getting out there, uh, having limited reps. I guess there's so many different guys at the receiver position that could potentially make an impact for you guys. How are they kind of managing uh, different opportunities, different looks, making sure you guys are? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a little bit of a challenge with uh, some of the guys and staying healthy and trying to keep everybody healthy and fresh. And uh, we've had to, you know, uh, in camp do a lot of walkthroughs and, and, and a lot of learning on the board. So uh, those guys are doing a good job. They, they stayed focused. They've, uh, you know, we do have a lot of volume on offense, so they've done a good job of learning and, and uh, applying it to the field when they get out there.